What's up you guys? What's really really good? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who have never been here before, my name is Stacey G and I basically make a lot of videos about a lot of different things but you are joining me today in a very exciting one. Actually not that exciting but it's exciting to me. So I love shopping like i really do love going to stores i love spending time literally like i think it makes me feel better like walking out and finding good deals is something that i love now don't get me wrong i don't love shopping like i like deals but i'm not like a bargain shopper you know like I, and there's nothing wrong if you are but I just don't have the patience to go through like certain stores or like offer up or things like that like I personally just I'm not I'm not one of those people that has to get like the cheapest thing ever but I am definitely somebody who really enjoys getting a good deal on something that's really cute something that's really good and as we moved out and we got into our new apartment if you guys have been keeping up with that series I'm decorating our whole apartment now I got the kitchen kind of done and like the living room worked very well I feel like the bigger rooms I've been doing a pretty good job because I will see something and I'm like yeah I could totally see that there yes I could totally see that here like I'm very clear about the theme that I want but in my room it has been a little bit different I really like the farmhouse like kind of decoration but I don't know that it transfers so well inside of my room because like I don't want pictures of cows inside of my room you know I do love cows like they're super cute but I don't want them here in my room so it's been kind of difficult and like challenging to find decorative pieces to fit my room to make it look nice as you guys know I have that white thing where I keep my stuff and I have a black countertop in my restroom which I might put like something to cover it and make it lighter um I do like that boho chic like country kind of theme going on and it's been kind of difficult to transfer it into my room so um I like a lighter wood I like things like that and especially with it being such big empty walls like I feel like when you're the owner of the house or when you're like the main name on the lease it's kind of your responsibility you know and like if you live with your mom you're not really gonna be like mom i'm gonna do whatever i want you know so anyway now that we're here i feel like i have really discovered that side of me that loves decorating and that loves making things into her own and it's been really fun and really challenging i have definitely been learning a lot about myself because when you are decorating a new space for yourself you will definitely know way more about your style and way more about who you are than you really thought all this stuff hasn't came without help trust me i have watched plenty of youtube videos um some of my favorite like decorating blogs that i will like name here is live your style with shara i forgot her last name there's this other girl that i watch who has a really cute style um there's clarence hunter on instagram i love following her because she hooks it up with like hella cheap deals all over different stores um but yeah i think that if you are in the journey of wanting to renovate your new space or you're decorating something like just wanting to make things more you in your room or in your house or in your apartment then this is definitely a good video to join me in on so yesterday i went to home goods and i went with the mentality of i'm gonna decorate for my room now i do know that i like that boho chic look i wanted to look farmy but like not like a farm in here you know just like wood like cowboy theme ish you know so let me show you guys what i ended up finding i don't even know in what order to go in well i guess i'll start with this so in my earlier cleaning vlog i showed you guys that i have an empty wall that's actually behind you guys right now um and i have two walls and i want to make one of them like my youtube wall and what i mean by that is like basically like my backdrop as you guys know my backdrop right now is like my curtains behind me my bed my my stand of things so i wanted to have a wall dedicated to my youtube aka you guys so i found i found you guys this beautiful picture look let me show it to you can you guys see i think you could see it's this beautiful picture oh i got washed out this beautiful picture and it has wings and it's like it's a white frame with the white paper with white wings but i feel like it looks so beautiful now if you don't know you guys a couple christmases ago my mom got amy and i one wing each if you guys could see it right there you see so i always carry this little wing with me um wings wings are like 
like a bond between my mom and I and I just saw it and I was like oh my god how beautiful like I really been trying to think not only of my YouTube wall but it's also the first wall I look at when I wake up so I wanted to be inspiring and I wanted to like make me get up in the morning and make me feel good make me feel excited about the day and make me feel like I can conquer anything now what a better reminder than that other than wings like like angel wings remind me of my mom and they have the significance of like god and they have the significance of you know like just being free and being able to be inspired this cuadro went for $24.99 which was a little bit on the higher end that i like to pay for cuadros but because it meant so much to me because of my mom i was like you know what fuck it i'm gonna get it it's fine I'm going to turn it to curse, sorry, because I do know some of my nieces watch my YouTube channel, so I'm going to turn it to curse. But anyway, I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Like, it's fine. $24.99. It's a little bit expensive, but I'm willing to do it because it has an emotional meaning to me, Not, right? So I got the first cuadro to what's going to soon be my YouTube wall. Moving on and moving forward. Next up, you guys, I got, and this is what this is what's stunning over here. It looks kind of weird, but I don't know where to put it. Oh, shit, it's heavy. <laughs> So I got this little mini table, look at it. It is so pretty and I thought it was perfect for my room. Now I have a little bit, I have a wood table that I'm using as a nightstand, but I think I'm gonna use this one instead because I feel like the white and the wood that really does a good job of mixing like that cute, girly, chic, glam even in a way, you know, um, vibe in my room. And I think it looks so beautiful and it looks so nice. I'm gonna show you to you guys what it looks like once it's already done. The lighter wood and the white, I feel like it still matches with my room and it gives it that feel of like the boho farmhouse mix that I was looking for, you know? Um, this one was only $39.99, which I think it's pretty good for a bedside table. I think people would probably use it for the living room or for their entrance to put their keys, but I am gonna be using it for my room because I just like how decorative and simple it was. Like it's like a minimal farmhousey boho chic kind of kind of table. If you guys watch my cleaning vlog or my home tour, you do know that I'm trying to put more greenery in my house just to like live up the place and to make it look more fresh. Now, I don't wanna have live plants in here because I don't wanna make myself responsible for killing plants. Like, I, I don't know, I just, maybe in the future I'll think about getting real plants, but for now, like I'm just gonna get fake ones. So, this first one that I found, you guys, it's so beautiful. So, this is like a fake savila plant on a white, Thingy -majini. I don't know what they're called, but it's kind of big. Look, it's like bigger than my head and I love it because it looks like it's blooming, you know, and you can actually move the plants to like flower it out however you like. So I really love that because I was looking for a bigger plant like this for a while. I watched a YouTuber who has one like this, but it's like a blue agave plant, which I was like, oh my God, I've been looking for it so much everywhere and I could never find it. I looked on Amazon, I looked online, I looked on every like Marshalls and Home Goods. Like every time I go, I look for that blue agave plant and I could never find it. I couldn't even find a picture of it online. So if you guys know of a blue agave plant that looks kind of like this, that it's fake, definitely slide it into my DMs because I'm trying to see it and I'm trying to buy it. But for now, I thought this one would look so cute, especially with that table that I showed you guys earlier. It's all gonna go together and remember, this is all for my room. So. The plant in my bathroom is also white at the bottom, so I thought it would look perfect and like, I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's already done. <laughs> done, but I'm actually super excited for this one and I think it was kind of pricey. Yeah, so this one was $25, so it's definitely higher up there. I was not, I normally wouldn't pay $25 for a fake plant, but the way I see it is like, it's gonna last me for a long time. And then this one's versatile, so I can put it in my room. Eventually when we get a backyard, I can put it in the backyard, I can put it in the front yard. Like, it's just really cute and I really, really liked it, so I'm excited. Okay, moving on and moving forward in the theme of flowers. Now, in the theme of plants, I did want to keep the base or the las bases de las plantas, I wanted to keep them white. Now, when I found this one, you guys, I thought it was so cute. Look at it, it's teeny tiny. So I love that it has this like hanging thing. I don't even know what this hanging thing is called, but it has a bunch of these plants inside of it and I thought this would look so cute on top of that little table and it would give it that like homey green, like farmhousey feel even though you would probably never find 
these plants at a farm, you know, but that boho chic feel, I just really love that it had this hanging thing because I can put it like this and I can put a candle next to it and it's gonna look super cute. And not only that, but this one was on clearance for $12. Dollars, so they definitely got me with this one. I thought it was so cute. I thought it looked perfect And it's from the brand branch and blossom and this normally was $25 So yeah, I wouldn't have paid $25 for it even though like that's not very credible because I paid $25 for two different things But I thought it looked so cute Especially you guys if you want to buy, buy fake plants definitely go to home goods because they always have hella of them for super cheap prices Okay, so last but not least you guys um if you watch my vlogs, you know that I have a mat on top or like in front of my My restroom area my sink and it was like a lighter tan color and it just got dirty so fast Especially because we always stand on it. So I decided to get this decorative rug for the restroom now it is a jute rug with like a lighter tone color and it went for twenty dollars it's a 26 by 44 which i really like i normally don't like to use regular bathroom rugs for the bathroom i like to use like rugs because i feel like they just look nicer and they give it like a nicer touch rather than having like those ugly like restroom mats on the ground you know so i bought that one i'm gonna put it all together right now and let me just show you guys what it actually looks like once it's done so give me a second and give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video I don't know I just put the purse right there just to kind of fill it up because it's kind of big with just the plant but this is what I was talking about so I wanted the plant here this one for the floor just because it's a little bit bigger and then this one for up here to kind of fill up that space on top you know so this is my bedside table that's where I put my computer and where I put my phone at the end of the night and I think it looks really cute look if I pan out like the first thing you look at when you walk in hey girl you being a model? You being a model? Huh? <laughs> so it's right there in the background, you guys, as you guys can see. She's trying to smell you guys. I like it. I like it way better than the other table. Oh, look, this is what I was talking about, where you can fix the leaves. Yeah. So I like it way better because this is the one that I have there. And yeah, this one's just like not matching enough. So I'm gonna return this one. And this is the one that's gonna stay right there. Do you guys think it looks good? Let me know down below. For the jute rug, you guys, I have it right here on top of the sink, as you guys can tell. The fact that it's black kind of bothers me because it doesn't match my theme. So I might just like, um, I'm gonna tapisar the top, like maybe a lighter color. But this is what the mat looks like at the bottom. As you guys can tell, it matches perfectly with the flooring. And then it matches perfectly with the rest of my room. See, like this is the thing I was talking to you guys about where I have all my stuff. It's white. It has the wood. And then if you look back at the tapete, it looks perfect. That's a perfect match. And then it goes really well with my little mesita over there. As you guys can tell, it's a lot of trial and error. It's... A lot of figuring out what you like, seeing if certain pieces go with your place and then certain pieces might not. So it's important to keep your receipts because as you guys can tell, I'm going to be returning some stuff. Or maybe I'll take some of the pieces that were in here and put them out in the living room or in the kitchen. It's a lot of playing with different pieces and figuring out your style little by little. I am in no rush to try and figure it out or to finish it and be like, okay, dead, I'm done, you know? Because I think part of it is like going in a little treasure hunt and being like oh this will look cute here this will look cute there and then just seeing it come together it's really therapeutic and very like nice and I don't know, it just feels really nice to have the place come together little by little. So, if you guys like the pieces that I picked up, definitely leave a thumbs up in this video. If you have any tips of where I can get more things like these, or you find something that you're like, oh, that would look good, like, send it in my DM, girl. Hit me up with it, because I'm ready to make this place look super cute. I might cover my sink, just because it's black and I feel like it doesn't look nice. Give it a lighter, lighter color, so I'm going to look up videos on how to do 
do that and maybe I will take you guys through the process with me if it works out. I think that would be kind of fun, huh? Comment down below if you think that I should, um, no sé cómo se dice para tapizar. If I should cover the black in my, in my sink and make it a lighter color. Without further ado, you guys, I love you so very much. Thank you for kicking it with me and thank you for being here. Remember to leave a thumbs up because it helps me out in the algorithm. And if you haven't yet, join the family so you can come kick it with me in my living room or in my room beach, okay? If you like what you're seeing, definitely continue to watch others of my videos. You should watch the whole moving series because it's been so much fun to watch this place transform into what it's turning into. But yeah, I love you guys so very much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. My name is Stacey Day, and I will see you guys at the next one. Bye, bish. Lávense la cola.